Hi all, Mass Barton Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today we are blowing up this Sematic S5 110 PLC CPU module. So let's see how well that handles taking in 4 kJ of energy through the back plane port and to the front here. Wow, that old Siemens Sematic S510 PLC CPU really is a pretty simple work of art here. A lot of Motorola chips in here. 40 series seems to go all along the line here. And the explosion here did actually decap two of them. And being a CPU module, I actually do not see any CPU IC, so maybe this is just based around some logic and perhaps not a that advanced CPU after all. Now, we can see here that the entry point of the current was here and the other point over here. So we have some blown tracks that have been completely blown off here and there. So all the input protection diodes here, some of them are just completely blasted apart. So that's some pretty decent damage to this old CPU card. And here on the back side we can see how there is actually some quite distinguished burn marks. That's quite interesting how that got distributed. Now the small EEPROM module has some uh, burn damage here on the back, also has some here in the pins, but it also seems to have a little cloud inside the viewport here, so let's get that under the microscope. Wow, just look at all that damage to all the bonding wires. That has been completely obliterated. If we try to zoom out a bit, we can actually see the sputtered metal up on the window we can see here that is just splattered out completely what a total mess that four kilojoules of energy can do inside a small EEPROM so yeah this this is a bit above what you see from your regular static damage to an IC but yeah perhaps you do not get molten metal from handling it wrong but at least you can get that with a large capacitor instead. And at last here we have a close-up of one of the decapped ICs. And if we can just move over to some of the blown up input diodes. We have those sitting here. You can see they're just completely blown away. And if we get down to the last decapped IC over here. You can see some bonding wires are missing and we have the little cute die there in the middle. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So until next time, see ya.